Hey guys, welcome from back from our YouTube video. Today I'm opening the Pokemon Infernape V box. Yeah, I got this back during Christmas. Yeah, been waiting a while to do it. Should have done it in January, but I kind of forgot about it. All right, Blaze, a new trial and battle with the agility and power of power of Infernape V. Keep the coins flipping with its meteor punch attack, then burn down the battlefield with its massive bright flame in this box. You'll find playable and oversized version of Inferni V Plus, bonus playable card featuring Empoleon. you also get a handful of Pokemon TCG booster packs, well I already know that, to enhance your decks and fulfill out your collection of course. Yeah. One foil card featuring Infernape V, one foil card featuring Empoleon, and one oversized foil card featuring Infernape V. And four TCG booster packs. And a code card. Alright. Trying to crack it open. I haven't opened one of these in a while. I also have a Pokemon Go one I'm going to open next, and uh, the Crown Zenith that I just received today. And I have a Pikachu one coming, and the Hisuian Zoroark V-Star box. Yeah, I didn't know the Crown Zenith was a special set until I googled that. I feel like a, I feel like a dum dum, but that's okay. It's okay to be a dum dum sometimes. All right. Okay, there we go. Man, I have, I missed doing this for quite some time. Cause this is one of my favorite pastimes, opening these boxes. Of course, the worst time of the year to do this is, and it's during the summer. So this time of year is like the best time to do it. And the funny thing is, I think around this time last year is when I opened the Dark Sylveon 5 box. Then that was the, that was the third box I opened? Yeah. Alright. Here's the oversized card of Infernape, Infernape V. I would have to say Infernape's my favorite Sinnoh starter. I recently acquired Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl and I chose Chimchar for Brilliant Diamond. And I might do the same for Shining Pearl but I'm undecided. Yeah. Maybe I might choose Piplup but I'm not sure. I like my Infernape. Infernape's awesome. It's one of the best fire type Pokemon there is. <laughs> indeed, indeed that is true. Alright, try to pull this out carefully. And then, okay, I have to do it from this end. Yeah, doing it from this end actually might be a smarter idea. And then... Alright. This code card I'm gonna give to you guys in the comments. Whoever leaves the best comment will get this card. This is a very nice Infern AP. This is pretty cool actually. It's going to be a great addition to my binder. I'm on my third binder right now. I've been doing this for over a year and that's how far I've gotten. That's crazy. I've opened quite a few display boxes. Alright, time to get the last card out which is not a bad looking card. It's pretty cool in its own right. And Polion. It's going to be a great addition to my collection. Even though I prefer Invernate, but I don't mind Napoleon. Thankfully, all the Sinnoh starters are, are fine. Yeah, but Infernape is the best one of the three. Definitely. Yeah. It's a nice card. Alright, then I have these booster packs Lost Origin. Can't say no to the last origin. Maybe I'll have better luck with these ones. Sometimes I pull rare cards out of these. Here's another one. A fusion strike with Gengar. Maybe I might get hopefully at least one of these booster packs will give me a rare. I'm not expecting all of them to give me a rare. Now that that would be insane. 
but I know that's pretty unlikely. I think the most, I guarantee I might have the best luck with Aster Radiance. I seem to have good luck with Aster Radiance. Or better luck than, than Lost Origin. That I admit. The best card I think I pulled out of Aster Radiance, or at least my favorite, is the Radiant Greninja. That is my favorite card from that set. Would it be cool if I got a second one? Yes. Would I sell that second one at some point in the future? Maybe. Depends. Depends on what the PSA grading is. If it's a 10, then I'll probably hold on to it longer. Unless both of them are PSA 10, then they'll eventually sell one to the right person. Exactly. But it's going to be many years before I even consider selling any duplicate rares I acquire. Which I have a couple duplicates, which is really funny. So I might sell the duplicates at some point. Unless, unless they're a high PSA. Unless they're PSA 10. But I'm undecided. I might just hold on to them for many years to come and decide then. So I hope you enjoyed this video. So just let me know in the comments who can... Or actually, no, why, why did I say that? You know what? Let me know in the comments of how do you feel about my channel? Do you think, do you think I've been doing a good job? Do you think I could do things better? And I have a new editing app I'm going to try. I keep forgetting to try it. So I've, I think I've decided this might be the last box set I'm going to use Kind Master for. Because there's another editing app I'm going to use, the Radiant Eevee Pokemon Go one. Yes, that's the box that I have, Radiant Eevee. Can't wait to open it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers, I guess, by the end of the year. I think it's doable. I don't see why not. Gained over 52 subscribers. Yeah. Yeah, over yeah, 52 subscribers in January. That's, I think, the highest I've ever gained in a month. So, I think I could pull off a 1,000 by the end of the year. And maybe another goal, but I know it's probably unlikely to happen this year, possibly, would be if my channel became monetized. But I know there's no guarantee. At least I'll be a step closer to that if I get a 1,000 subscribers. I'll just have to eventually come up with shorts that will get enough views to pass 10 million views in total. And then boom! Viking Fun will be a channel to be remembered for years to come as I'll keep growing and become a better YouTuber. So I hope you guys enjoy. The one and only Viking Fun is out.